Hi everyone, so today I'm actually going to be doing my first of many requested Halloween videos. Now, the great thing about this look is it's so beautiful that if you just omit the gems, you can wear it for a day-to-day -day look. It doesn't have to be for Halloween. The look I'm doing is Ariana Grande's look that she had in her Break Free video. She looked absolutely stunning, and I'm really, really happy that one of you requested that I do this look. So I'm going to show you exactly step-by-step -step how to transform yourself into looking as close as anyone who is not that genetically blessed can get to Ariana Grande. So I'm starting off by using my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Now honestly, you can use whatever primer you like. This is just the one that I happen to have on hand, so I'm only using a tiny, tiny amount of it. And the only reason I'm using primer is because we're using a very matte, very full coverage foundation. So it's a very good idea if you have any dry patches on your skin to use a primer. So I'm just dotting a tiny bit of this just in the areas where my skin gets most dry. And then I'm going to blend it out all over my face. Next, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation in True Ivory. For this look, you definitely want a full coverage foundation. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a decent amount of this. You only need about a dot for this because it's very, very thick. And I'm just going to dot this all around my face. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm just going to blend this in. All right, so there's my foundation. Now, as you guys can see, I have some crazy dark circles going on and a bunch of acne right now. So we're gonna get that covered up as well. I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer, which is still the best and my favorite. And I'm just going to dot that under each eye and then I'm going to blend that in. I am also taking it down farther than I normally would because her face is very, very highlighted. Now that I have those dark circles covered up, I'm going to take my NYX HD Photo Giant Concealer and I use the shade Fair. And I'm just going to take this and dot it anywhere I have any acne breakouts, anywhere I have any extra visible redness, um, anywhere with any discoloration. Basically, any place where your skin does not look like a completely smooth piece of canvas, conceal it. I'm actually going to be using my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil for this. But you guys can use pretty much any translucent to semi-translucent powder that you want. I'm just going to basically dust this all over my entire face. Next, I'm taking my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny and my contour brush, and she has some amazing bronze skin. So I'm taking this to start with and I'm really loading it up and I'm going to start by contouring underneath my cheekbones. I know this looks very, very, very dark, but we're going to blend it out here. Also going to take this bronzer and pop it onto my temples.
I'm also going to just lightly take a small amount and just go around the edges of my face with it. And I'm also going to be contouring my nose. So you can use a smaller brush for this if you want. All I do is I take my same brush and I pinch it in my fingers to make it into a much thinner, flatter brush. And I just dip it into my contour and draw on a much thinner nose than I normally possess. And then I just take it and blend that down onto the sides. Now to increase the overall pop of my face a bit, I'm going to grab a highlighter. Now normally I have a slightly darker highlighter that I normally use for every day, but since this is definitely more of a theatrical pop kind of look, I'm actually going into my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and I'm using this shade. One of the big highlight shades, this is Champagne Truffle and it has a very pearlescent pink tone to it, which is amazing for doing highlights on very fair skin. I'm just using a basic dual fiber brush for this and just ever so gently getting a little bit of that highlight on the edges. And then I'm going to take this on my cheekbones. I'm also taking this in the center of my chin. my cupid's bow and carefully down the center of my nose and in the center of my forehead. And this gives you a very clean pinkish white highlight that really helps make the shaping of your face stand out. So I'm actually going to be using my NYX Baked Blush. This is in Pink Fetish and it's gorgeous. If you look at it up close, it also has highlight and bronze tones in it. So it's really, really beautiful for a look that is primarily a bronze look. So I'm going to grab my fluffy blush brush with this and I'm just very lightly tapping this on here because she does not wear a lot of blush and you don't want to have a very heavy blush look for this particular look. And just sweep it on top of those cheekbones. All right, next I'm going to move on to doing the eyebrows. Now her eyebrows are a bit tricky. They are shaped differently than a lot of us tend to shape our eyebrows. They are very straight and then they come down just a little bit at the ends. They almost taper to points. They don't have your typical up and arch and I'm actually kind of lucky in that fact because my eyebrows naturally are shaped somewhat similar to hers. Um, if yours aren't, you can um, soften them with foundation to take them down a bit or honestly just go with your own natural brow shape the way it is because this look is very versatile. But in my case, I'm trying to get my look as close to her actual look as possible. So I'm just going to brush them straight across. And I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde and I'm just going to go in and do my brows straight across. Hers are also very soft, so keep that in mind. She doesn't have the harsh power brow going on that tends to become really, really popular among people. Hers are just very, very soft and very natural. I'm just taking them down at the ends. 
Hers are also fairly short, so don't try to extend the tail too far. I'm going to do the other one real quick. And then I'm just going to take my brush and just brush out the front of them to help soften them up even more. All right, next I'm going to move on to doing her eyes. So I'm going to start with an eye primer. I'm using my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I'm going to be using my Lorac Pro 2 palette for this just because it luckily has all these shades that I need. I'm going to start by grabbing my favorite fluffy blending brush and I'm going in and I'm grabbing Snow. Her eyes are very, very, very highlighted. So I am taking Snow and I'm taking it in the inner corner of my eye and really blending it out and taking it up into this area right above your crease at the front of your eye. And then I'm going to take that same shade mixed with a little bit of buff. So I'm going to grab a bit of buff and a bit of snow together. And then I'm going to pop that right under my eyebrow. I'm going to actually be working with this brush almost the entire time because her look is very faded out. So a big, fluffy, soft brush is going to be best for this. Next, I'm going in and grabbing soft brown. I'm just going to take a little bit of this to start with. And just start it on the eyelid, but keeping it underneath the crease. And then you're going to take it and build up to beyond the crease. So you're taking it up at an angle the whole way. And filling in the rest of the eyelid. So the entire eyelid and part of your outer corner is all going to be this light brown shade. Now, once you get the base laid down like that, I want you to take, go in, grab more buff, and start just blending this out using buff because it's a very, very soft look. You should see absolutely no harsh lines at all once this is fully blended out. Should look somewhat like this when you are finished. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye real quick. All right, now that you have that all blended out, I actually want you to go and take a standard eyeshadow brush and go back in with your bronzer. And you're just going to take a tiny bit of bronzer on your eyeshadow brush and run it right underneath your lash line, just like this. You just want the underside of your bottom eyelid to look a little bit darker and a little puffy. All right, now I'm taking a brown eyeliner. Honestly, any brown eyeliner you have will do. I'm using an old CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in Chestnut, and I'm going to line my waterline and my tight line with this.
You just want light hints of color, really. You don't want a heavy, heavy, dark eyeliner on your inner rims. All right, next I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Liner in Perversion, and I'm going to use this to create a winged owl eyeliner on the top of my lid. All right, now I'm just going to draw a very thin line on my upper lash line. And using my lower lash line as a guide, of course, I'm going to draw in a winged eye. Once your eyeliner is nice and dry, you're going to go in with a small detail brush and the color Cocoa and just take a tiny bit of Cocoa onto that detail brush and you just want a tiny, tiny bit so go ahead and rub some off onto the back of your hand or a paper towel and you're just going to take a tiny bit of Cocoa and just dab it right along that crisp liner edge because you just want to soften it out ever so lightly and make your make that look softer and less harsh and you want to just slightly darken the brown at right where the liner is. I hope that makes sense. You guys can see what I'm doing so hopefully that helps but I'm just adding And of course, make sure it doesn't leave any harsh lines or anything like that. All right, next we're going to curl our eyelashes. And then you're going to want to apply a coat of your favorite mascara to your top lashes only. If you look at her in the video, she does not have anything put under her lower lashes at all. I'm using my Urban Decay Super Curl Mascara because it doesn't clump at all. And if you look, her eyelashes are very, very well separated. They're very long and very thin in the video. So keep that in mind when choosing a mascara. So I'm going to let my mascara dry and then I'm going to apply a set of false lashes. I'm going to be applying a set of Ardella Accent 315s. These are half lashes. All right, I have those applied. I'm just waiting for them to dry. So I'm going to move on now and show you guys how to do her lips. Her lips are a very nude color. They are a darker nude though. They're a darker pinkier tone nude. So I'm actually going to be using more of a standard nude shade on top, but underneath I'm using more of a pink lip liner. So I'm using my Rimmel London Exaggerate Lip Liner. This is in number 45, Epic. In the video, for some reason, they overdrew her lip line and omitted her cupid's bow. And I think it's to definitely give a fuller lip, a younger appearance, and maybe more of an alien aspect to her appearance because that was kind of the whole theme of the video. So I am going to cover up my cupid's bow and slightly overline my lips. I'm going to take one of the Maybelline The Nudes lipsticks. This is in cinnamon and apply this on top. All right, I know this is a lot of steps, so bear with me. Next, I'm going to take a tissue and blot that to lighten it quite a bit. And I'm taking another Maybelline Nude Lipstick. This is 920 Nude Lust, which is much, much lighter. 
and I'm going to put this on the top in the center and on the bottom. I know this is a lot of layering of lip colors, but really in the end it's worth it because you need the multiple layers of color to get that tonal richness to it. All right, and that's how to get her lips. You guys can see I didn't take the layer of color all the way to the corners because the darker your corners are, the more it makes your mouth look like it's going backwards and like your lips are, are fuller and thicker. So here's the finished makeup look. All right, so for my face stickers, I picked up, I went to Michael's and I picked up the Recollections brand. These are adhesive rhinestones, and I thought that this one is perfect for the center of her forehead. And if you cut the ends off of these ones, they are perfect for using at the corner of your eyes. So I'm just going to carefully peel off the first one. If you're also allergic to random adhesives, which a lot of us do tend to be, keep that in mind as well because you are putting stickers on your face. I'm going to place the first one right here in the center of my forehead, up close to my hairline. Now, of course, this isn't exactly identical to the way her gemstones are done in the video, but without your own personal sticker maker, the likelihood of actually getting those exact gems is pretty much slim to none. So here is the absolute final look. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you if you just like her makeup in the video or if you're trying to go as her for Halloween. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me at JoannaBrooks.net and on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. I am pretty much everywhere. And all the links for those are down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.